Всем привет, друзья! Английский на слух. И сегодня на моем канале я открываю новую рубрику. Мы будем учиться понимать английский на слух по коротким рассказам. Сегодня первый урок, мы прослушаем рассказ. Первый раз слушаем полностью, второй раз по частям с переводом, третий раз слушаем без субтитров, учимся понимать исключительно на слух, при этом темп речи носителя немного быстрее. Есть в уроке еще четвертая часть. Носитель произносит фразы, предложения и дается время для того, чтобы вы произнесли их, проговорили их вслед за носителем. Таким образом, вы еще будете дополнительно тренировать разговорные навыки. Итак, давайте скорее приступим к практической части. Поехали! There are very dangerous reefs near the northern coast of New Zealand. In the summer of 1871, a ship called the Brindle was moving slowly through a fog near the reefs. Some sailors on the ship suddenly saw a tremendous white dolphin in the water. It swam towards them and turned and swam in front of the ship. The dolphin seemed to lead the ship and it swam on and on until the ship had passed the dangerous reefs. Then it swam away, and the ship, led by the dolphin into open water, continued on its way. From that time on, every ship that came to the reefs was met by the white dolphin. Sailors in every port knew about the dolphin. Thanks to its work, not one ship was lost on the reefs. The dolphin, protected by a special law, appeared in front of every ship that came near the coast of New Zealand. It continued to serve as a ship's pilot until 1912. Of course, no one could be sure that it was the same dolphin, and no one has ever discovered what made the white dolphin, or dolphins, pilot ships past the reefs for 40 years. There are very dangerous reefs near the northern coast of New Zealand. Есть очень опасные рифы рядом с северным побережьем Новой Зеландии. There are very dangerous reefs near the northern coast of New Zealand. There are very dangerous reefs near the northern coast of New Zealand. In the summer of 1871, a ship called the Brindle was moving slowly through a fog near the reefs. Летом 1871 года корабль под названием Бриндл медленно двигался сквозь туман вблизи рифов. In the summer of 1871, a ship called the Brindle was moving slowly through a fog near the reefs. In the summer of 1871, a ship called the Brindle was moving slowly through a fog near the reefs. Some sailors on the ship suddenly saw a tremendous white dolphin in the water. Некоторые моряки, находящиеся на корабле, увидели в воде огромного белого дельфина. Some sailors on the ship suddenly saw a tremendous white dolphin in the water. Some sailors on the ship suddenly saw a tremendous white dolphin in the water. It swam towards them and turned and swam in front of the ship. Он поплыл к ним, а затем повернул или повернулся и поплыл впереди корабля. В этом предложении первое and мы перевели как а затем. It swam towards them and turned and swam in front of the ship. It swam towards them and turned and swam in front of the ship. The dolphin seemed to lead the ship, and it swam on and on until the ship had passed the dangerous reefs. Дельфин, казалось, вел корабль за собой. Он плыл и плыл до тех пор, пока корабль миновал опасные рифы. The dolphin seemed to lead the ship, 
and it swam on and on until the ship had passed the dangerous reefs. The dolphin seemed to lead the ship, and it swam on and on until the ship had passed the dangerous reefs. Then it swam away, and the ship, led by the dolphin into open water, continued on its way. Затем он уплыл, и корабль, который дельфин вывел на открытую воду, продолжил свой путь. Then it swam away, and the ship, led by the dolphin into open water, continued on its way. Then it swam away, and the ship, led by the dolphin into open water, continued on its way. From that time on, every ship that came to the reefs was met by the white dolphin. С тех пор белый дельфин встречал каждый корабль, который приближался к рифам. Вы видите, если переводить буквально, то каждый корабль, который приближался к рифам, was met by the white dolphin, был встречен белым дельфином. From that time on, Every ship that came to the reefs was met by the white dolphin. From that time on, every ship that came to the reefs was met by the white dolphin. Sailors in every port knew about the dolphin. Thanks to its work, not one ship was lost on the reefs. Моряки в каждом порту знали о дельфине. Благодаря его работе ни один корабль не погиб на рифах. Если дословно, ни один корабль не был потерян на рифах. Sailors in every port knew about the dolphin. Thanks to its work, not one ship was lost on the reefs. Sailors in every port knew about the dolphin. Thanks to its work, not one ship was lost on the reefs. The dolphin, protected by a special law, appeared in front of every ship that came near the coast of New Zealand. Дельфин, защищенный специальным законом, появлялся перед каждым кораблем, который подходил к побережью Новой Зеландии. The dolphin, protected by a special law, appeared in front of every ship that came near the coast of New Zealand. The dolphin, protected by a special law, appeared in front of every ship that came near the coast of New Zealand. It continued to serve as a ship's pilot until 1912. Он продолжал выступать в качестве штурмана или рулевого кораблей до 1912 года. It continued to serve as a ship's pilot until 1912. It continued to serve as a ship's pilot until 1912. Of course, no one could be sure that it was the same dolphin, and no one has ever discovered what made the white dolphin, or dolphins, pilot ships past the reefs for 40 years. Конечно, никто не мог быть уверен, что это был один и тот же дельфин. И никто никогда так и не узнал, что заставило белого дельфина или дельфинов прокладывать курс для кораблей у рифов на протяжении 40 лет. Of course, no one could be sure that it was the same dolphin, and no one has ever discovered what made the white dolphin, or dolphins, pilot ships past the reefs for 40 years. Of course, no one could be sure that it was the same dolphin, and no one has ever discovered what made the white dolphin, or dolphins, pilot ships past the reefs for 40 years. There are very dangerous reefs near the northern coast of New Zealand. In the summer of 1871, a ship called the Brindle was moving slowly through a fog near the reefs. Some sailors on the ship suddenly saw a tremendous white dolphin in the water. It swam towards them and turned and swam in front of the ship. The dolphin seemed to lead the ship, and it swam on and on until the ship had passed the dangerous reefs. 
Then it swam away, and the ship, led by the dolphin into open water, continued on its way. From that time on, every ship that came to the reefs was met by the white dolphin. Sailors in every port knew about the dolphin. Thanks to its work not one ship was lost on the reefs. The dolphin, protected by a special law, appeared in front of every ship that came near the coast of New Zealand. It continued to serve as a ship's pilot until 1912. Of course, no one could be sure that it was the same dolphin, and no one has ever discovered what made the white dolphin, or dolphins, pilot ships past the reefs for 40 years. Dangerous Reefs The Northern Coast of New Zealand A ship was moving slowly near the reefs. I saw a tremendous white dolphin in the water. The dolphin seemed to lead the ship. Sailors in every port knew about the dolphin. The dolphin was protected by a special law. Друзья, на сегодня наш урок окончен. Напишите, как вам такой формат. Буду очень ждать ваши отзывы. Ставьте лайк этому уроку, подписывайтесь на мой канал для того, чтобы дальше совершенствовать свой английский. Поделитесь этим видео со всеми, кому оно может быть полезным. И мы прощаемся до встречи в следующих видеоуроках. Пока-пока!